hi everyone welcome back to my channel and yes i was able to come in and do a video all right some of you may have read my blog page and know a little bit as to what's going on right now in my life um i will talk about that maybe a little bit at the end i'm not gonna start that way but yeah you guys new do how you like it okay I love it, okay? I love it. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an empties video. I haven't done an empties video in like a long time. Um, those are some of my favorite videos to watch. I love to see what just what products people like and what they say about products. Is it good? And sometimes some products are so intriguing that, you know, sometimes I'll go out and try it. And, you know, I just love those type of videos. Um, uh, I feel like a lot of people don't do those videos as much as they used to, but I actually love those type of videos. Um, I feel like they're very educational uh, as far as products, just to hear somebody else's opinion on a product. I really feel like, um, yeah, they're very helpful. So anyways, I'm going to do this empties video. All right, I have a few products. I'm going to try to do this as quick as I can. All right, this is a brand that I buy from Dollar Tree. This is the All of Life Moisturizing Body Wash. It is a two-in-one cleanser plus moisturizer to relieve uh, dry skin. This is compared to Olive Olay, the original brand of Olive Olay Body Wash. This is lovely. It's just as good. In my opinion, I like this better than the original Olive Olay Body Wash very moisturizing smells really great um it just cleanses the skin and it yes it does moisturize and i do have dry skin so this feels lovely on my skin um and it's very just uh very smooth you can tell it has oil in it a great product another product is the dow coconut water ultra fresh hydration hydrating body wash I do like this one, however, I'm starting to not like it as much, but Dow products is always a favorite product of mine because it's an antibacterial type of soap. I love that, but it says it moisturizes clean, it's a clean wrench and it's a rich lather, which that's what I like about it, it's the lather. It's an advanced moisture attractive formula for lasting lightweight hydration. However, because it is a Dow product, I sometimes feel like sometimes this could get a little dry on the skin. Not extreme dry, but just a little bit, even though it says it's a hydrating body wash by Dow. Um, I still feel like it dries my skin just a little bit. So that's why I kind of, I like it, but, and I still purchase Dow body washes, but yeah, this one right here, I do love the smell because it smells like coconut. But like I said, it feels like it's starting to dry my skin just a little bit. Or maybe it's just because the weather is changing. My skin starts to get dry around this time. So it could just be my skin, you guys. Could be. Um, another product would be this Dry Idea Advanced Dry uh, Hypoallergenic... Um, it's an antiperspirant and deodorant. This is a clear gel. This is my favorite deodorant. It takes a small amount. You will stay dry all day. Uh, this one is in the scent fresh. A lot of times I like the unscented kind. But you guys, this is a great deodorant if you're looking or antiperspirant and deodorant. So it's both in one. Um, I like it. It works for me. Keeps me, you know, my underarms fresh fresh and dry and yeah I love it and it doesn't leave any residue so if you like halter tops and things like I do or muscle shirts like I like to wear like what I have on today similar you won't have that residue underneath the arms which could be very awful with some deodorants you know how you have the clump and stuff underneath there well this doesn't do that it's completely clear it looks like you have no deodorant on but you do because it is a clear antiperspirant and deodorant so it's a clear gel and it works it keeps you dry and it you know it does everything a deodorant is supposed to do okay very good purchase that over and over and over and i might have another one in here i don't know 
Uh, the next product, I finally went through the Avony um, Thermal Spring Water. Um, I do like this. Um, I bought the, well, this came in one of the boxes, uh, box subscriptions. I have a little bit of this, but I feel like I've had it for a while. So there's a little bit left, but I feel like it's time to get rid of it because I've had it for a while. But this is really good for like, to me, I think it doesn't matter if you have dry skin or oily skin, but I think it works better if you have oily skin rather than dry skin. But you can apply this just like on days where you don't want to wear makeup and you just want to refresh your face, you know, like you've washed your face and maybe a couple of hours you've been out like taking care of things that you have to do or whatnot and then your face kind of feels a little oily. It doesn't feel as, um, you know, you know how the heat can, you know, your skin just doesn't feel great on, on the on the face well you can spray this and I, I feel like this is a refreshener for the face okay it refreshes your face and it's really good for that and also it's good to set your uh, makeup as well okay all right I do like that product all right now I have the equate moisture care cocoa divine body lotion um, this is compared to Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant Lotion. Love this stuff. I go through so many bottles. You guys, this is like 97 cents at Walmart. Amazing. Um, I don't see the difference between the Vaseline um, brand. I mean, this is compared to it. It's the same thing, just this is cheaper. And if you love coconut smell, you will love this. I love to just lather my body into this and it really does moisturize my body and uh it just smells so good it's non greasy and it's deep conditioning that's true after you apply when you first apply it, it feels a little bit uh oily in a sense but then when it dries up it's not greasy uh and it does condition the skin because it's got that coconut butter in it so that's really really nice okay all right and then i have this vitamin e skincare cream i do use this on my body uh even though i feel like this is made for the face and i think it is but it says skincare cream um it's by the brand called fruit of the earth uh you can get this at dollar general i do like it uh it contains vitamin e aloe vera wheat germ wheat wheat G-E-R-M, that's what it says. Sunflower seed oil, collagen. Yes, collagen right there. So I place this all over my body, okay? And it has elastin as well. So this is to help minimize signs of aging skin. It keeps hands, face, and body looking younger. So you can use this on your body. So I do. I use this on my body rather than my face. And yes, my skin is so soft, okay? Very good product. You can purchase that at Dollar General. Got another pack of nails. Uh, these are the glow in the dark. I do have a pair on right now. And yes, they do glow in the dark. These, uh, this is a brand called Sassy Cheek. You can purchase this brand at Dollar Tree. These nails cost a dollar a pack. I have on a set nail. Love these nails. Okay, got a collection of those nails. All right, the next product would be the Femme Couture Get Lock Makeup Setting Spray. I love this spray. I've mentioned this. And I also have this one, uh, the Real Color Stay and Spray Makeup Setting, setting Spray. Um, I've done a video on my blog page where I compare these to uh, two other setting sprays. This one is compared to, in my opinion, okay, this is the same as the NYX setting spray. And this one right here is compared to the L'Oreal um, Pro setting spray. I can't remember the name of it, but the Infallible Pro Infallible spray. It's very comparable, but these can be bought at Sally's Beauty Supply. I do love these sprays and I've used them. Okay. Wonderful products. All right. And then, you know, I love to remove my makeup with the Huggies Natural Care Wipes. Amazing. I mean, on days when you really just don't feel like, um, you know, 
uh, going through your full makeup remover routine at night, you can take a huggy wipe, like two or three of these, remove your makeup and your face will feel clean, okay? Um, we all have our lazy days where we don't feel like doing all the extra steps and cleaning our skin every single night. So if you're very exhausted or you just had a bad day, you don't feel good, get you a pack of huggy wipes and natural care and remove your makeup and you're good to go for the night, okay? All right, very good product makeup removers i have to get rid of these because i've had them for i don't know how long okay i stopped using eye makeup removers uh for a while because and i started using the micellar water because i felt like the makeup removers for the eyes was drying out my eyelids i had been having those issues for a while and I couldn't figure out why my eyelids was being so dry and finally I found out what was causing my eyelids to be dry. I have mentioned this in many makeup looks uh, even way back when I first started I would wonder why my eyelids get dry. I used to have to put creams on my eyelids because my eyelids would be so dry. It was some of these eye makeup removers that was making my eyelids dry. So I'm not saying that these did it, but what it is is that I've had these for so long because I stopped using eye makeup removers. And so because I've had them for so long, I put them in the empties. But I have to say when I was using these, these uh, uh, the eye makeup removers did work for me. I did like these two brands. One is this. One of them is the Femme Couture Eye Makeup Remover, Oil Free and Gentle. It is. I really liked that one when I used it. And the Rimmel London Just Let It Go Gentle Eye Makeup Remover is oil free as well. It removes waterproof mascara. As you can tell, I use this a lot because at that time I was using a lot of waterproof mascara. It does remove waterproof mascara really good. And it's by the brand Rimmel. It is a good eye makeup remover I just can't use eye makeup removers they dry out my eyelids it don't matter what brand it just dries out my eyelids now I haven't tried any high end eye makeup removers but so far the ones that I have tried they dry out my eyelids okay I had to let them go all right so I have a couple of gel liners one is a Rimmel gel liner uh, I don't recall the name it's the um, I don't see the name of it, but it looks like this. I didn't care for this one, okay? This one was a little bit too oily. I felt like it kind of melt off, uh, you know, like the my body heat would melt, melt the, you know, my body heat would melt the gel liner on my lash line, and, it, and when I would put it on my waterline, it would just drain off okay drain out uh, onto my lower lash line so i really don't like this i wouldn't repurchase that again and this is what's one that i ordered online on ebay i didn't even i really didn't even use it okay um it just came to me and i just thought mm -mm. it looked a little too uh still it didn't look like it was going to glide on my eyes and i do not like to tug and pull on my eyes as much especially with eyeliner that's a no-no all right and i have a hard candy sure envy hydrating primer mist 12 hour power it has electrolytes energizer and hydrates the skin it's all free silicone free alcohol free love this stuff if you have dry skin get it it's great for dry skin and you can use this on your face as well as your body it smells like coconut it's lovely it applies it gives you this nice glowy sheen makeup finish and if you uh, like a lot of powders on your skin it will just kind of just you know what is it get rid of that powdery look and give your makeup finish a gorgeous glow okay love this stuff it's one of my favorite primers my favorite primer okay i did use a mask this was the mask that i got from dollar tree uh this one was called it was a green tea ginseng and collagen mask i did use this i did like it but i felt like when i used it it kind of 
uh, caused my skin to get a little bumpy for some reason. I don't know why. My skin felt a little rough. And I think it was because it was at that era when I started having that rough texture issue going on. And I, and I used this mask and for some reason it didn't help me. But I can't say it's a bad mask. It just did not work for the reasons. It just didn't work for what I, I thought it would work okay i thought it would help smooth out my skin in other words that's what i used it for but it did all right and then here's another pack of the huggies natural care wipes i love them no secrets um another pack as well of the huggies wipes that's how much i love those wipes um and then here's a pack of false eyelashes that i buy from ebay amazon they are lovely they are the ones that are really thick and very drama like thick lashes but it has a separation like uh kind of separates yeah that type of style i don't remember the style name but they were very dramatic but i love them okay especially when i use the eye tweezer and just kind of you know press them into my lashes and everything they look really really cute and then i finally got through with the i had to let this go it had got too old but um this is the maybelline age rewind in neutralizer i think yeah i like the brightener better so i hadn't used this in a while so it's time to let this go but that is good that's the yellow tone to me it just makes my under eyes don't look as good but if i use the brightener um the brightener looks better for me I don't know why, but you would think the neutralizer would be better. One of my favorite uh, perfumes is the Hannah Mori, um perfume here. I love this. It smells so good. It's such a feminine smell. I got to repurchase. I finally went through this bottle. Love this perfume. It's a favorite of mine. And you guys, that is it. That is all of my empties products. I went through pretty quick because it's about time for my daughter to get home from school. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoy this video. And once again, you guys, I had promised that I would do two videos a week. You guys, that probably most likely would change. I will most likely do one video. I was going to stop for a little while, just make a video whenever I could, if, even if it was just one video month i can't do that to you all i love you all i love my subscribers i will remain um making videos i know i wrote my blog stating that you know uh something came up yes my identity have been stolen okay you guys my id is stolen someone has been using my numbers have purchased things and all this stuff and i don't know nothing about it so it's a big deal i'm not gonna get into it but you guys through it all i'm going to remain dedicated here on youtube i love uh, creating makeup looks doing makeup things this is my passion this is what i love to do i will continue to make videos for you all the thing is is that i was going to you know go up to two videos a week however i probably just have to end up with doing one video a week as i've been doing but you all know the circumstance and the reason being why i'm going back to one video however if i have time to make two videos i will on this channel so i just want you all to know that i want you all to know that i love you keep me in your prayers as i will keep you in mind and yes you guys i'm gonna let you all go so you all have a wonderful day day or a wonderful evening and you know i love you through it all no matter what i'm gonna still be beautiful and i'm gonna still create these videos a video for you all and yeah and i'm gonna love you okay all right you guys bye bye <laughs>